Welcome to the homework for lesson six. This is module six of third grade. Get your name on here first, please. Get that out of the way before you get started because you probably won't remember to do it at the end. Ms. Leal measures the heights of the students in her kindergarten class. The heights are shown on the line plot below. Here's your title, Heights of Students in Ms. Leal's Kindergarten Class. And it says here the bottom inches, so that's, that's what we're counting. And the X's are just one student each. How many students in Ms. Leal's class are exactly 41 inches tall? So I'm going to look at just count the X's above the 41. One, two, three, four. There are four students. Four students. are 41 inches. How many students are in her class? How do you know? Well, if each X is one student, all we have to do is count the X's and because they're the same as counting students. So one, two, three, and then here's four more for seven, eight, and three more is 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. There are 20 students, and how did you get it? I counted 20 X's. How many students in Ms. Leal's class are more than 42 inches tall? So be careful about this because we want only the ones that are more than 42 inches tall. Let me clean all this stuff up here. Only the ones that are more. So we're not going to count the ones that are equal to 42, just the ones that are bigger than 42. So that means I'm not going to count these ones here, but I'm going to count everything larger so not just the 42 and a halves but i also these are also larger than 42 and so are the 44s so i have to count all of those one two three four five six seven eight nine there's nine are more than 42 Ms. Leal says that for the class picture, students in the back row must be at least 42 and a half inches tall. How many students should be in the back row? So you have to understand for this one, you got to know what at least means. And a lot of times that's not easy for third graders. So you sometimes, some of you might know it right away and some of you might not. At least means what is that you, to be in this group, to qualify to be in the back row, that is the smallest that you can be. So at least, least is the smallest. So at least means that's the smallest you can be. So it means at least that size or larger you, than you're in the back row. Let me clean all this up. So now that is at least 42 and a half. And that's kind of what we just answered, right? So it includes 42 and a half and everything taller, which is what we just counted, right? Everything bigger than 42. So it's going to be the same answer. 9 students should be in the back row. Mr. Stein's class is studying plants. They plant seeds in clear plastic bags and measure the lengths of the roots. The lengths of the roots in inches are shown in the line plot below. So here's inches and X is one plant. And this is all about the lengths of the plant's roots. How many roots did Mr. Stein's class measure? Well, each, we will, we will assume that each plant has one root so that we can count the um, 
here because here it only says one plant so we're going to just assume that each plant has one root and so that way we can just count the plants because otherwise we have no other way to do it so there's two four three more is seven four more is eleven four more is fifteen and five more is twenty twenty three twenty four counted 24 X's Teresa and, and like this ES I wrote for X's if you write it like this X's that's fine in fact it's probably correct Teresa says that the three most frequent measurements in order from shortest to longest are so most frequent most frequent so that means the ones that the the three most frequent measurements are the the ones that have the most x's so and and we're measuring them in shortest so what are the three ones that had the most three measurements that had the most roots that's going to be looking at these well, this one here, because that one has five, and then we have two fours here and there, and then that's it. So that's three, right? And then, we, then so those are, others have less, but we only need the three most frequent, right? So that's those. Uh, so she started with, in order from shortest to longest, starting with three and a quarter, three and two fourths and then three and three fourths do you agree and explain your answer well we're looking at this and we can see it's, it's it should be three three and a fourth and three and two fourths so there we can that can be in our explanation and, and of course we circled them on the on the uh, line plot but let's see how do i what do i write for an explanation uh three And so if I disagree, all I have to do is find one thing wrong with what she said and I write that down. Uh, if I do agree, then I have to say why I think she's right. So three and three and one fourth. Have. Four roots. but three and three fourths has only three. And then I can write for another sentence uh, what it should be. Uh, most frequent are three three and a fourth oops no, that's what she said that's not what I figured out it should be three yeah three three and a fourth and three and two fourths I had it right three three and one fourth three and two fourths Gerald says the most common measurement is 14 quarter inches. Is he right? Why or why not? Well, to figure that out, I have to know what is 14 quarter inches because our measurements up here are given in mixed numbers. And 14 quarter inches is an improper fraction. So to do that, there's lots of ways that you can show what that is that work. But what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to draw a picture. And my picture is going to be a piece of tape. It's going to be just like a ruler, really. 
So here's going to be, that's one hole, and there's two whole inches, and there's three whole inches, and this is going to be four whole inches. I don't need any more than that because that's the biggest measurement. And then, so quarter inches. And I could label all of these one-fourth. All right, so now, now what I have to do is figure out, okay, so this is four quarter inches. And from here to, that's the two, right? Let's make sure we see, we make bold what these marks are so we can tell them apart from the quarter inch marks. So, and that's going to be, that's going to get us to eight. That's four more quarter inches. And then this is going to be four more quarter inches. Let me clean this label up here a little bit. All right, now that is 12. Right, because 3 fourths is 12. So that means I need two more quarter inches. So that from here to there, from the beginning, that is 14. quarter inches, which equals 3 and 2 quarters. So what is that? Is that the most frequent? Yes, it is, because it has 5, 3 and 2 fourths. So I can say he is right. Uh, I'll say and right is that's how you spell it fourteen quarter Let me zoom out a little bit so I can show I still have plenty of page left quarter inches. equals three and two fourths inches which has the most roots And I'm going to make another check here just to go back to the beginning and make sure I did everything I was supposed to do because sometimes I forget. All right, name, hopefully you got that. Uh, heights of students in, okay. Four students are 41 inches. Okay, I counted 20 X's. Nine students are more than 42 inches tall. Nine should be in the back row. Okay, I like because right, that's all I had to... I just had to look at it to count, All right? There are 24. How do you know? Did I answer that part? I counted. Okay, I answered that. Teresa says three. Okay, do you agree? And let's see, I wrote two sentences, but I never actually said whether I agreed. Uh, three and three fourths of four. So, no, I have to say no. I could just, here, I could just go back and fix it and just say no. Or I don't agree. Either say I don't agree or no, I could go back and fix it. Either one of those would work. Three and three quarters have four roots, but there's only three. To move. Okay, great. Oh, and a period at the end of the sentence. I do forget that sometimes too. All right, so now I went back and I checked everything. 